advertising in today's fast-paced news cycle that includes a global pandemic, war, divisive Supreme Court decisions, and social justice issues can be quite daunting. Moreover, the proliferation of misinformation and disinformation can make navigating these waters complicated. However, that shouldn't mean brands exclude news content outright. Today's brand safety and suitability tools and technology make it possible for advertisers to reach engaged audiences across the internet with the full confidence that their brand is protected. So what is brand safety? Brand safety refers to steps advertisers take to ensure that a digital ad will not appear adjacent to content that most agree should not be monetized. In the industry, this is referred to as the brand safety floor, content that is universally accepted as unsafe for advertising. Examples of this type of content include disinformation, extreme violence, pornography, copyright protected content, or other unscrupulous content that could harm a brand's reputation. According to research conducted by DV and Harris Poll, appearing alongside brand unsafe content can have a material adverse effect on both brand equity and commercial outlook. Almost 90% of consumers reported that it was important for advertisers to make sure the ads they were serving did not appear near dangerous, offensive, or inappropriate content. 87% of consumers feel that brands bear responsibility for ensuring their ads run adjacent to content that is safe. And 67% of consumers would be likely to stop using the brand product if they viewed the brand's digital ad next to false, objectionable, or inflammatory content. Brand suitability, on the other hand, is more nuanced. It takes a subjective view, looking at content a brand might not want to appear alongside based on its target audience or preferences. Brand suitability requires specialized tools, as each brand has unique standards for determining which content aligns with their values and sensitivities. For example, appearing alongside a recipe for cocktails may be suitable for most brands, but not for family-friendly brands that may be sensitive to alcohol-related content. At the heart of brand safety and suitability is classification. DV classifies the majority of content on the internet using both manual and automated means in over 40 languages. Advertisers can then use this information to determine which topics they wish to avoid. Core to classification is semantic science, which is built on ontology. Ontology is the rigorous and exhaustive organization of language that contains all concepts, entities, and their relationship to one another. DV's semantic science analysis goes far beyond the detection of phrases or keywords to ensure classifications represent the content and tone of a specific page, website, video, or app. When establishing a brand safety and suitability profile, here are some best practices we recommend to our clients. Understand and establish clear brand safety and suitability guidelines. What values do you or your target audience prioritize? Are there specific types of content you'd like to avoid entirely? Take advantage of brand suitability tools, such as inclusion exclusion lists. Use keyword lists sparingly, only in response to breaking news, and be sure to keep your lists up to date. Carefully select appropriate content categories and risk levels to avoid. Get as granular as you can so as to not limit scale. Leverage exceptions where appropriate to avoid blocking subdomains or homepages you might be comfortable with. For example, on a news website, you might want to avoid politics, but you're okay with lifestyle content. Be sure your provider has appropriate protection in place to guard against misinformation and disinformation. Make sure this protection can scale, reaching all properties and languages where misinformation can arise. All of these steps aim to reduce the friction and disruption caused by brand safety and suitability issues, employing technology to make the digital advertising ecosystem stronger, safer, and more secure. This is important stuff, not just for our advertisers, but for everyone who participates in the digital ad ecosystem.